Thousands of demonstrators filled the streets in Madrid in support of Palestinians and to demand an end to genocide in the Gaza Strip. The protest brought in activists from across Spain to continue to pressure the Spanish government to do more to stop attacks on Palestinian civilians. Members of Spain's United Left Party, including Minister for Youth Syra Rego, joined the protest and called for an arms embargo and sanctions against Israel. The leaders of the far-left Podemos party held a large banner that called Israel's attacks on Palestine a genocide. Excuses have run out for complicit Western nations like the United States, Podemos leader Ioni Balara told the Canal Red Media outlet. The top UN court has clearly said that there are signs of genocide and that Israel has to stop killing the civilian population. Balara reiterated her demand for Spain to break diplomatic ties with Israel and back South Africa at the International Court of Justice. A long time ago, since 2014, there were already instructions from NATO to increase military spending in all countries. But it is true that following the war in Ukraine it is now a daily reality. They are not only proposing a 2% increase, but that it should remain as a reference, that is to say, they are asking for a higher increase, said Enrique Quintanilla, Desarma Madrid activist. It is the second straight weekend that the Spanish capital hosted mass pro-Palestine protests, However, more than 60 cities joined in a coordinated effort last weekend. While the government has been critical of Israel's actions, it has so far ignored the protesters' demand to cut diplomatic or economic ties with Tel Aviv. Instead, the Spanish administration is focusing on mobilizing other Western countries to recognize an independent Palestinian state within the framework of a peace conference.